Hey guys, what is up? It is time to review Green Lantern number 9 and the secrets of the Indigo Tribe just keep coming. Uh, in this issue, uh, there's essentially what is a big information dump. And even though it's not done the most elegant way in the world, it's kind of just stated, uh, it is cool. And the secrets that you learn are actual secrets. And the more Jeff Johns goes on and on with his Green Lantern, uh, the more we learn about the different tribes and or the different cores and corps and how they interact, and it's really I really like it, uh, especially this current run which has direct connections to uh, Blackest Night and Brightest Day. This issue in particular talks a lot about and it deals a lot with Blackest Night. Uh, I can't talk too much about this without uh, saying spoilers because this issue is just a bunch of reveals. Honestly, there's a bunch of just this is what happened, this is what happened. But it's done, even though I said it wasn't done elegantly, it's still a good, fun read, uh, as the series has been since the beginning. Uh, and also ends off on a big cliffhanger that I'm excited to see where it goes. Uh, yeah, I really can't say too much about spoiling it. You learn, basically you learn how Abinsur was connected to the Indigo Tribe. And uh, you get a little bit of Sinestro's connection to Abinsur, too. So it's kind of, kind of bringing everything full circle. And also hints at what uh, could be the next big thing in the Green Lantern universe. So Green Lantern, number 9, I'm going to give an 8 out of 10. See you guys in another review.